Charlie Hayes here for GenConnect.com. I'm joined by the mayor of Newark, New Jersey, Cory Booker, the Honorable Cory Booker. Uh, the Honorable Booker is also heavily involved in social media, I understand. There was a snowstorm story that occurred in your career. Yeah, you know, we found that uh, social media is a powerful tool in the new toolbox of mayors and that I can connect to my residents uh, in ways that are, that are very intimate and they can get views into my life and transparency. It's great. And I can connect to thousands and thousands of people in a much more substantive way, whether it's through inspiring, through informing, uh, through sharing information, connecting people. And when the snowstorm hit, uh, the worst I had seen uh, since I was mayor, uh, two feet of snow, I decided, you know what, why am I going to stay in my command center in City Hall? Let me do a mobile command center. I can still talk to my leaders using uh, cell phones, but more importantly, I'm getting this stream of people from my city tweeting me about their problems. And so whether it was somebody who couldn't get out of their home to get diapers for their baby, you know, I had an emergency vehicle, I can get to their house. Whether it was an ambulance that's stuck in the snow in my neighborhood and I, I need to get to a, a kidney dialysis or my father does, we could get there, get the ambulance unstuck, get the person there. So it just became more than 24 hours, probably about 48 hours, living in my car and being able to answer these emergency calls in a way that greatly empowered my uh, position as mayor. Was this an aha moment for you? That uh, um, you know, it was. It was the first uh, real uh, sort of natural. I want to call it a disaster. I think it was actually uh, given that uh, by the federal government, where we really had life or death situations out there. And so it was. I saw how the technology was helping me in powerful ways, but this was one of the ways that it gave me. It showed me the true uh, sort of exponentially potent impact it could have uh, in a time of, of great trial. Corey, we recently saw a situation where social media brought down a congressman from the state of New York, uh, obviously an inappropriate use of social media. Um, but we have such high expectations. We deserve as a people to have high expectations for our politicians. And yet it seems as though scandal after scandal takes place and it diminishes the expectations that, that we as a people have. Um, why is this happening, do you think? Why is the ruling class in a situation where there's so many of these, these kinds of circumstances, and what can we do to prevent it? Well, uh, well first of all, I think that circumstance was, was the man, not the social medium. Um, but look, we are humanity, and I think in every sector of society, business people, teachers, you name it, we all, we all have people that slip and get caught up uh, and fall down, sometimes in a, in a very sensational, embarrassing mm -hmm. way. Um, and we have to understand that politicians are much more in the spotlight now. Um, I won't go through a day where I'm not being recorded or uh, 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 being, um, you know, uh, on, on TV multiple times during a day. And, and we're all going to mess up. Mm -hmm. now, and, and, and that kind of media spotlight, will, the cracks in my character will often be seen in a much more dramatic way. So it's, we need to have high expectations for our politicians and one another. Um, but we need not to think that when one person falls, it should cast a shadow over mm -hmm. all those other people who are struggling to live up to expectations and, and, and exceed them. You know, we all walk, and when I trip, uh, I don't think that all, all my steps in walking are bad. I say, that happened, and now I'm going to move on and mm -hmm. keep continuing down my path. So my hope is, uh, for our nation, is number one, we do have high standards, and when somebody violates communal norms or the law, there should be consequences for that. We should not judge the totality of a person's being on their mm -hmm. lowest moment. We're all mountain ranges. We all have peaks and valleys. And so the second thing I hope for my country is that we have a deep capacity to ultimately forgive. And, and for my faith and many faiths, that's one of the fundamental pillars is the ability to love and forgive. You're going to take personal responsibility for your action, but you're a human being just like me, and, and we're going to show forgiveness. But more importantly, that forgiveness should go broader than that, that we're not going to allow the actions of an individual to darken the skies for everything. We're going we're gonna to forgive that person, love and understand them, and, and also expand that kind of expansive love to the, to the, to the class of people themselves. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to let a few bad teachers undermine my hope and faith in the teaching profession. I'm not going to let a few bad public officials undermine my faith and hope for that profession. And the final thing I'll just say is, at the end of the day, so much of life is a projection of who we are. And I think that sometimes the way we... Um, have a perverse obsession with, uh, with, with celebrity and celebrity scandals uh, is not necessarily a reflection of those people involved in the scandals, it's also a reflection of, of uh, some of ourselves mm -hmm. and uh, some of our darker corners ourselves um, and our, 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 our obsessions with rumor and, 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 and conjecture and 
uh, scandal is something, a, a stream of our culture that I don't think is, reflects the best of America. And we need to own up to that because we don't celebrate the greatness and the good in people and put it on the same level of spectacle as we do for people's failures. And, and that hurts us as a society, that you turn on the news and you only see the, the reams of negativity and people don't find uh, the success stories uh, as, as exciting or as thrilling or as much to cheer about. And we are a nation when it comes to the, the life of public service or all of our sectors where we're replete with heroes and heroism, but that doesn't even often break into the national consciousness because of our obsession and focus with the negative uh, and our focus with, with that. And I think that says a lot about us as individuals and not about those people who might be caught up in that scandal of the day. So let us hope that we uh, become an America again um, that is a, a country of uh, profound hope uh, and love, uh, where we elevate those things in our society and in our culture uh, that, are, that will inspire us to continue our pursuits uh, for that more perfect union and not just focus on that, those things that undermine the fabric of our people. Corey, if people want to connect with you on the internet, Facebook, tweets? How um, they... You know, I'm very blessed uh, to have uh, a lot of followers on Twitter. Uh, mm -hmm. So, at Cory Booker, simple as that, C-O-R-Y-B-O-K-E-R, and the same thing on Facebook. And uh, I try to reflect that same sentiment I was just sharing with you. I want to inspire people, and that's what my feed is really about. Mayor Cory Booker of Newark, New Jersey. You can see more with him on GenConnect.com as well. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you very, very Appreciate much. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.